is too much. That is too colorful. That's too weird. That is the point! Meet Cybergirl, a rad fashionista and influencer on social media who is implementing the Decora fashion style, a popular Japanese fashion style known for its extreme maximalism of colors and accessories. It's a lot like looking at a Nian cat exploding into a firework. Decora itself was huge in the mid-2000s and kind of reminds me of a cell phone covered in charms and accessories. It's a play on the word decoration, and this is decoration all right. In fact, it often looks like every single part of the body or world has been decorated in Cybergirl's images. It's like looking at a little big planet pod filled with items. Cybergirl is one of the biggest influencers in the movement today with hundreds of thousands of followers on Instagram. She'll dress up like a walking rainbow and your eyes will explode with dopamine as you try to identify anything and everything. Sometimes I look at one of these images and my entire frontal cortex just shuts down. Too much stimuli. It's super cute though. Often she'll have some glitter on the face or little stickers, maybe a neon pink band-aid, 19 candy necklaces on, 30 bracelets that reminds me of the days kids used to walk around with silly bands lining their entire forearms. Hell, this style is basically maximalist 13-year-old me. When I was wearing Cookie Monster shirt, Kermit the Frog snapback, and three I Love Boobies bracelets on my left arm at age 12, I was basically decor light. Here's a cool tweet she put out on December 19th, 2022, to the tune of hundreds of likes, showing off one of her inspirations, a decora fashionista active in the 2010s called Creamy Sauce. <laughs> kind of an insane name. Um, me at Red Lobster? Yeah, I'll take the creamy sauce. Cool fit though, I've never seen a rainbow poncho before. I think the longer I stare at this, the more my brain chemicals start to bubble. There are many sub-styles of decora too, like casual decora, dark decora, or pink decora. Dark decora specifically is kind of sick, basically like decora, but if you bought everything from the Hot Topic scene section. You become an Invader Zim cat girl, but maximalist. Personally, I think we need a decora Wojak. In fact, imagine the decora GF Wojak next to the minimalist boyfriend Wojak. <laughs> that could be a funny dichotomy. I think if I was dating someone who was into decora fashion, I would just wear gray all day. Although decora has become huge in the mid-2000s and even today on social media through the likes of Cybergirl and others, it technically became huge during the mid-1990s, as everyone tried to look like Hello Kitty on LSD. Many attribute the popularization of the fashion style to Tomoe Shinohara, a Japanese singer who looks like this. It's a pretty badass look. She was kind of ahead of her time. She would implement a lot of stickers, primary colors, and all around looking like a second grade classroom environment. But Cybergirl has taken this to new heights in the modern day. Something I've noticed in a lot of her images is the use of pop culture characters, or just cute animals and emojis in general. It definitely feels like the original Decora style, but amplified with 30 years of pop culture references and styles to work off of. I feel like these outfits are so bright, she's gonna start another sun in our solar system. Here are some other examples of some modern Decora fashion, like this post on Twitter by Mang97974, where she has so many objects glued to her head, it's like she was rolling around like a Katamari collecting items in her kitchen before recording this. She dunked her head in honey and then just moved around. Sometimes people even create art in this style, like this really sick piece by Cinnaboo on Twitter. I love the eyes and colorful braces on this one. Cybergirl herself even has a YouTube channel where I have learned that Harajuku fashion itself is much different than Decora. There's actually a distinction. Harajuku fashion is just an alternate side of Japanese fashion itself, and there are a bunch of fashion styles under Harajuku fashion itself, like Lolita or Fairy Kei, with Decora being one of those variations. Anyway, this stuff is super cool, not super funny like normal, but if I view it for another second, I feel like I'm gonna start vomiting rainbows like a 2009 Rainbow Llama gif, so I'm gonna head out. Peace. <laughs>